New World of Turnum's trophy system allows players to gain an increase in damage to each mob type across Eternum. This helps you get the most out of your DPS in each expedition and mutation and every PvE situation in the game. Whenever you acquire a trophy, you can hang it in your house to receive the global damage increase to that particular mob type. You can hang one of each type of combat trophy in each of your three houses. To get the maximum benefit from the trophies, you're going to want to acquire three of each type. There is also a minor, basic, and major version of each type of trophy. If you have the minor version, you are going to get a plus 3% damage increase to that particular mob type. The basic is plus 4% and the major is plus 5%. So that means the maximum benefit from having three major trophies hung in your houses would be a plus 15% damage increase to a particular monster type. So the trophy must be active in your house to receive the buff for whichever monster type you are fighting, but you can avoid having to switch trophies in your house all the time by acquiring what's called an ultimate combat trophy. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. But for example, if you're going into the Lazarus instrumentality and you're going to go fight a lot of ancient type enemies prior to going into that expedition, make sure you go to your houses and hang all of your ancient combat trophies in your three houses to get the maximum benefit or the maximum damage output against that ancient enemy type. So now how do you go about getting a minor or a basic or a major combat trophy? Well, each major trophy is also going to require a minor and a basic trophy to craft. So the best place to start is just by acquiring a minor trophy. These are very easy to come by. They're very easy to craft and they're going to give you a plus 3% damage bonus to a particular mob type whenever you hang this in your home. And again, make sure you have a house because you have to hang the trophy in your house to get this global buff. So the minor trophies can either be purchased from someone or crafted. Sometimes they drop from certain mob types as well, and they're really easy and very common to acquire. So if you prefer to craft these trophies yourself, the following maps are going to be required for each minor, basic, and major combat trophy. So you're going to need 25 lumber, 20 steel ingots, one maple stain, 25 moats, and the moat is going to depend on which trophy you're crafting. So if you're crafting an ancient trophy, it's going to be a soul moat. An angry earth trophy is earth motes, corrupted is life motes, a human is death motes, lost is death motes, and then wildlife is fire motes. So in order to upgrade that trophy or to craft a basic combat trophy to go from a plus 3% damage bonus to the plus 4% damage bonus, you are then going to need 25 weird wood planks, 20 star metal ingots, one oak stain, and then one epic resource. So the epic resource is something that's going to drop from certain mobs in the game and you need that to craft the basic trophy. So to craft the basic ancient combat trophy, you're going to need what's called an ancient femur. This is going to drop from any ancient enemy in the game. Angry earth, you're going to need bark flesh. This drops from any angry earth mob in the game. Corrupted, you need the corrupted crest. This drops from any corrupted monster in the game. And then for the human basic combat trophy, you're going to need a human digit, which drops from any Varangian mob. You're also going to need this thing called a flame core. You're going to need five of them. Flame cores drop from Varangian mobs, but they also can be looted from specific chests throughout Eternum. So primarily in three points of interest, the Atlas Foundry, Acadia Keep, and the Brosalandi Cave. I'm sure I butchered the name of that, but those are the three points of interest that you're going to want to look for to loot chests in order to get flame cores. And then for the basic lost combat trophy, you're going to need some ectoplasmic essence that drops from any lost mob. And then for the wildlife trophy, you're going to need the pristine wolf claw, which drops from any beast type mob. And then of course, you're going to need the applicable minor trophy as well. So you need the minor trophy in order to upgrade that into the basic trophy of that type. And then the final type of trophy to get the trophy that's going to give you the plus 5% damage increase is the major combat trophy. So these are going to be much harder to get than the minor or the basic version. And they require what's called an artifact or it's a unique legendary resource that you can only farm from specific places. And we'll talk about where to farm those here in just a moment. But in order to craft these major combat trophies, you're also going to need 25 ironwood planks, 20 orichalcum ingots, one mahogany stain, and then of course the legendary resource we just mentioned and the applicable basic trophy. So you must have the basic trophy in order to upgrade that into the major combat trophy. The major ancient combat trophy resource, the ancient mandible, can be farmed at the surgeon. He can be located at the Skyview Repose in Reekwater. He's going to be located right here in this area. 
The major Angry Earth resource for the combat trophy is called Glowing Sap. You can farm this from an enemy called Banes, and he is located right here at the Spire Perilous in Eden Grove, right here in this area. And then to farm the major Corrupted Combat Trophy resource, we are going to be looking for the Corrupted Totem. It's going to drop from the Pit Lord Dehi boss. So he's located in Shattered Mountain right here in this Alerman area. He's going to be right about here, kind of in the center of this area here. For the major Lost Combat Trophy resource, we're going to be looking for the Ephemeral Seal. This drops from Mordecai the Mortician at the Sky Song Crypt in Ebon Scale Reach. The Sky Song Crypt is the very northern part of Ebon Scale Reach. And once you're there, you're going to want to venture down to about right here. He spawns right there in that area. You kill Mordecai for a chance to get the Ephemeral Seal. And then for the major Beast Bane Trophy, you're going to need what's called a Pristine Bear Claw. So this can just be farmed from black bears or grizzly bears. And these can easily be found right up here in northern Brightwood. There are a ton of bears here, just Greyvale Grotto or Grin's Place, just anywhere in this general vicinity. You'll find a lot of bears and you can go there to farm this pristine bear claw. And then for the major human bane trophy, you're going to need what's called a human idol. And I should point out here that the human trophy does not affect PvP. You do not deal extra damage to other players. This is only for the human mob type in the game. So it's only for PvE. So in order to get the human idol, you're going to need to kill Sir Juni, the strategist. This is a Varangian named mob, and he can be located right here in the Atlas Foundry. The Atlas Foundry is an Ebon Scale Reach. It's in the western part of the area, and it is going to be right here on the boat. So he spawns right there. So you have to make your way through the Elite Zone and then kill him here in order to have a chance to get the human idol. So the special ingredient that you need in order to craft these major combat trophies is pretty rare. They do have a very low drop chance, so it also makes these items pretty expensive on the trading post. However, there's also an item in the game called a shard. So for example, the ancient mandible that you need in order to craft the major ancients combat trophy also has an associated shard just called an ancient mandible shard. So these shards drop from the same monster that you can farm the artifact ingredient from. These have an incredibly high drop chance. So if you're out searching for a specific trophy ingredient and you're killing that monster, you are going to get some shards. However, it does take a hundred shards in order to craft one of the artifact ingredients ingredients but the bright side is you probably won't have to kill that monster many more times than a hundred in order to get the trophy that you are looking for once you have a hundred shards if you weren't lucky enough to get the actual artifact ingredient in that time you can take those 100 shards over to a workshop and you can craft those 100 shards into whichever artifact ingredient that you're trying to get. So this system really helps eliminate the RNG that's required to get those very rare artifact ingredients for those trophies. And it's very important to point out here that you must have the artifact ingredient in your bag before you'll have the option to craft one of the major trophies. You're not going to see the major trophy available in your crafting list at the workshop until you have that artifact available. Then once you acquire one type of every major trophy, you want to make sure you hang those in your house at the appropriate time. So as we talked about at the top of the video, whenever you're going into a specific dungeon that has a specific monster type or doing any specific activity with a specific monster type, make sure you have that applicable trophy hung in your house. You can only have a specific number of trophies hung in each home, so you're not going to have all of these hung at once. So you are going to have to go to your house and change these out, which can be very cumbersome and pretty annoying however there is a way around this too but it is very very expensive and something that you won't do until much much later in the game just for convenience purposes there is an item in the game called an ultimate combat trophy so once you get every type of major combat trophy you can combine them into this ultimate combat trophy so in order to do this, you just need to go to your faction vendor. You're going to scroll down and you're going to find the ultimate combat trophy crafting recipe. You're going to purchase that. It's going to cost a lot of gold and a lot of faction tokens to acquire. Once you have it, you can then combine all three trophies into your ultimate combat trophy. And you can put that up in your home and you will never have to switch that out again because you're going to get the plus five base damage to all monster types in the game. 
and it can just sit there and it'll just be a permanent buff for you as long as that trophy is up in your house. But in order to do this, you obviously will need to craft three of these because you'll need to hang one in each home to completely prevent you from having to switch trophies in the future which you can do the math. It's going to get very, very expensive to do so. So again, this is just very much a convenience thing that you'll want to focus on very late game if you don't really have a lot of other things to focus on in the game. But bear in mind that these are bind on pickup. So unlike the other major trophies in the game, you're not going to be able to craft one of these and then sell it later. So if you're planning on ever selling your major combat trophies for whatever reason, don't turn them into an ultimate because then you're not going to be able to sell them. They're going to be bound to you forever. That's going to do it for this one, boys and girls. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is how you get all of the combat trophies in New World Eternal. These are going to definitely help you pump out DPS. You're going to want to eventually acquire all of the majors so that you can do as much damage as possible for some of the high end content in the game. But again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you enjoy New World, enjoy New World content, please make sure to like and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate that as well. But that's going to do it. We'll see you in the next one.